Oh, so now I, I cannot detect the BTs at all? Oh, dude, come on. I'm running out of stuff to put on my back. <laughs> this is kind of crazy. Let's uh, put some ladders down. Oh, I can't because I have too much weight. Okay. So I got to manage cargo. Now let's uh let's say we take a ladder and we offload it. Okay. So now I take another ladder. Oh, I don't know where my other ladder went. Oh. Alright, we get another ladder here. No other ladders. So, what's that can do? Was it in the rock? Oh yeah, I see it. That's all right. That's all right. Hey, you know what? Somebody else will be able to pick it up now. You know, when I connect it to the network. Also, I feel terrible for what I have done to Sam. Look at all the stuff I am carrying on me. <laughs> but we're here. We made it. There are those who said this day would never come. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ideal. Too bad everything got ruined by the rain, you know? All weapons will remain locked until departure. Cargo verified. Thank you. Decontaminating suit. Rest is advised. Yeah, I probably need a lot of rest. Oh, get this stuff off my back. Make delivery.
Okay, so they're only 15% damage. So it seems that they can take quite a lot of rainfall before they become unusable. That delivery route I took was awful, by the way. But I also just wanted to explore and see what was out there, so... Picked up other player's cargo. Okay. Okay, it's time. Do you mind connecting us to the network? Okay, do it. Get these dedicated servers up and running. Hope everyone's having a good time enjoying the stream. Uh, Jablo, Metro, Flox, all the others who are just lurking, just wanted to check the game out. So yeah, but so far, uh, Jablo, the beauty and story I hope will be enough. I will say for me, it's one of those things where is, uh... well, let me see what happens here story-wise and then I'll, I'll, I'll give some more of my thoughts about what I've experienced so far in the first three, four hours. Sam, as always, thanks for bringing more folks into the UCA. The more facilities join the UCA, Bridges HQ will be able to provide additional functionality to those facilities. Just the ability to set, fabricate equipment and weapons. Okay. So the more things that connect mules, drone syndrome, bridge babies, time fall. New features have been added to your cufflinks mail and data, and recycle. I wonder what recycle will let me do. Looks like we're on the chiral network. And with those materials you brought for our chiral printer, we can produce supplies for you here as needed. Think of it as our way of returning the favor. Now head west and keep on doing what you do. Good. The distro center is on the network. Sam, do me a favor. Take your BB to a private room and connect it to the incubator. Good work. Now, can I possibly deliver any of this lost cargo? Oh, yes, deliver lost cargo. So I got Fumi Fumi, Fumi 7 and Fumi 23's lost cargo. I'm going to return it for him. So hopefully he appreciates it. He or she appreciates it. That's awesome. You can see their uh, PSM profile pic. That's rad. My bridge link went up a lot doing that. Okay, let's rest in the private room. I really need to uh, recharge my BB. Little help. Okay, Sam. Remove the pod and connect it to that incubator. It's in. Good. Uh, a temporary excess of stress. Easily addressed if we return it to its mother's womb. Mother. Uh, located in the capital, not city, ICU. Brain dead, of course. Ah, you mean still mother? Correct. A still mother's womb facilitates a connection between the world of the dead and the BB. And you, in turn, 
connect yourself to a PB, granting you the ability to sense PTs. What? These pods were designed to simulate the conditions inside a still mother's womb. PBs need to believe they're in one at all times to function properly. However, we can only maintain this deception for so long, which is why we must periodically update the environmental data by synchronizing it with a still mother via the chiral network. There. The update is in progress. Right now, the pod is synchronizing with the steel mother in Capital Knot City and reconfiguring its settings based on the latest data. Returning your BB to the womb in this manner will temporarily reduce its stress levels. That being where it technically belongs, of course. Kid looks happy. I'll try adjusting the oxytocin dosage. Autotoxemia should set in much slower from now on. <sighs> uh, you should remember that BBs are just equipment. Try not to get attached. Each one has been physically removed from its steel mother's womb. A process that renders them unpredictable and prone to failure. No BB on record has remained in service for over a year. Uh, it may need to be retired before this expedition is over. Hmm. And then? You're saying there's no way to keep my BB alive? Uh, you must understand. There is still a great deal we don't know about BBs. As we expand the chiral network and recover more past data, perhaps we'll find our answers. Uh, oh, right. You asked me to look into why the BTs might be reacting to your blood. I spoke with Hartman. We should have your results soon. Anyway, get some rest. You and your BB are both exhausted. <sighs> Good night, Sam. Every time I sleep, though, I go to the beach and I'm not... I, you know, I just get more confused in a good way. It's kind of weird. This is a clinic of still mothers who are. What? Is that how that thing charges? I would not be able to survive in this world because I had no way I'd be able to sleep, by the way. On my side, no pillow, cuffed. chained up still can't leave but if you can keep making connections if you can get to me we can go back east back home thank you I mean that it's bad there are fewer and fewer people in the cities these days. No one's having children anymore. But humans aren't made for living alone. They're supposed to come together, to help one another. And if we as a people can't do that, if we can't reconnect, then, well, it's like Bridget said, extinction. Come on. Rebuilding America isn't going to get rid of the BTs. As long as they're still around, there's no escaping it. But at least we'll have hope. I'll be waiting, Sam.
waiting for you. Come and find me. Not only is it uncomfortable, but if I had to, every time I fall asleep, have a uh, long conversation with well, my kidnapped Sam, sister, how would you get some rest? Since you're awake, it might behoove you to freshen up. To that end, why not take a shower? It's good for the body and so, and also my research as it happens. Uh, how about before I do that, I drink some of this monster energy. You know what I'm saying? Yep, yeah, just good old monster energy. Just the fuel and nectar of the gods, what they call it. Oh, you better believe Namtox always drinks too. So it's really weird, like, like marketing, because drinking this gives you a flat bonus to your stamina, which obviously in this game, you're hiking a lot. So stamina is super important. So you're always going to want to drink the max amount that you can have. You know, like you're always going to want that. So it's just like, yeah, it, ma it makes me want a monster energy drink more than any TV commercial I've ever seen in my life. Okay, I look really cool with my glasses on. This is such, like, this is like ultimate Kojima right here. Like, all this goofy stuff he can do. In front of this uh, mirror is kind of funny. Let's see if I can do a goofy one. Let's see if I can get one to trigger that's uh, a funny one. I had I did one where I got his tongue to stick out and that was really amusing. But I'm having trouble doing them I guess maybe because I have the glasses on. Interesting that that stuff in his body cannot be washed away. Sam, this is Hartman. <laughs> Dead man relate your request to me, as I oversee DC research. I'll be taking a sample of your shower water in order to study the effects your bodily fluids might have on a BT. You study other people with dooms? Everyone in bridges, myself and Mama. Results thus far are inconclusive. <laughs> But you possess other singular qualities, being a repatriate as well. I must confess to a measure of optimism. Processing fluids, waste products, dry running, dispensing. There, take the sample with you. Should the opportunity arise, try using it on a BT. I'm curious to see how they react. Who knows? It may even prove beneficial to you. There was an old research paper detailing the effects of bodily fluids from individuals like us on BTs. It is only by recovering these materials that we can unearth the knowledge of the past. Not just the Death Stranding, but also the mystery of your body's unique properties and even our doom's affliction. There may well be hope for humanity. Sam. I have no interest in rebuilding America. I want to recover the past. Five, oh, four, it's almost three, time. Two, one. 
After you make your connections and nothing happens, then what? I said, then what? Sam, sorry to bother you while you're taking a break, but I figured you'd want to hear this. Oh, maybe it'll help you rest easier. We received a number of messages addressed to you. And I've not taken a look myself, but I gather they're mostly from your clients. You should see if they contain any useful information. Mail can be accessed via your cufflinks, as well as the terminal in your private room. There's something else I'd like to share with you. With the Cairo network, we now have the power to reclaim our past. Data once thought lost forever from every corner of America can be pieced back together from fragmented records. Our archives are still a work in progress, of course. But as we expand the network and integrate more way stations and cities, we'll be able to recover more and more information, such as the previous expedition's logs and reports. Everything they sent back was lost when Central Knot City was destroyed. Now, we've managed to restore some already, in fact. You can access them from a private room terminal or your cufflinks by selecting Archives. Might make for interesting reading. Okay, interesting. Let's take a look at the terminal, see what we have in terms of mail. Bad news. Thanks for delivering those rare metals. The bike you saw outside? Its battery is dead. You'll have to give it some juice if you want to use it. Without porters, the whole system falls apart. This guy uses a lot of emojis. It's definitely violating the emoji rules. Okay, so it's nice to get a little bit of feedback from the places you're delivering to. A little bit of personality. It's not like you're seeing them once, dumping them, and then kind of calling it a day. We have interviews. Okay. And we still have a lot of gameplay tips. Reading mail, using private rooms. Okay, I think we've done everything we can do right now, so let's head back out. Okay, so that long gear of animation was just a one-time thing. Oh wait, I'm still wearing the glasses? Oh no, I did not realize that. Alright, I guess we're rocking in style. Yeah, my baby's back. Oh no, another flashback? This isn't what we agreed on. You said you'd do everything in your power to save BB. We are. But we cannot release the sun just yet. Believe me when I tell you. This woman in the mask who's done nothing but lie to me. So for as crazy as everybody's saying this game is, it's been pretty consistent with its logic so Sam, far. Out of curiosity, how's it doing at the moment? Uh, before I answer that... Something wrong? When I hook up my BB, I see things. What kind of things? Like a face, someone I don't know, calling to me. There's this room, too, with other people talking, but I can't make out the words. Lead-through effect. Didn't I warn you about this? You're mistaking the BB's memories for your own. They're false flashbacks, nothing more. Let me explain. A BB is harvested from its steel mother at around 28 weeks and placed in a pod. To be clear, this is before it's even born. The procedure halts its development. But even at 28 weeks, its sensory systems have matured enough to process external stimuli. It is more than capable of encoding this information into memories, which can bleed into yours via your connection. So who's the man I saw? Someone from the medical team, maybe? Or a BB technician? Does it matter? 
The BB has been in circulation for a while now. It's been handled by a lot of people. How should I know which one made an impression? Because you're the expert. No one's an expert, Sam. BBs were developed decades ago in secret. They're your quintessential black boxes. We may use them, but we don't truly understand them. Believe me, I've been trying to learn more, but almost all of the old records are gone. If I find anything out, I'll tell you, all right? Dead man's honor. That's very fascinating. Sam, check the delivery terminal and review the list of orders. So I still have stuff on me from uh, before that I just picked up. I wonder if I can leave that here before I pick up another crap ton of stuff that I don't want. While you're arresting, I ran some network diagnostics. Corellium monitoring and holographic systems are nominal. Unfortunately, our printer is offline. I know, I know, after all the trouble you went through to bring us those materials. This one's on us. We ordered a part a while back, but it never arrived. The printer needs it to communicate with the chiral network. Mules must have snatched it, caught that porter en route or something. If I'm right, they'll have taken it to their drop site, which is smack dab in the middle of their territory. Don't suppose you'd be up for stealing us our property back? Can't think of anyone more qualified than you. Uh, a stealth mission. I don't mind if I do. Recycle cargo. So... I guess I can, like, recycle all the stuff I picked up, and it would become materials for me? Because I don't have any place to really drop it off at. So I can select... Let's select all this. There's still That's right, they need their printer back online, so I need to take an order for them. Order for Sam. Collect chiral crystals. Alright, accept his orders. Mama's added a watchtower schematic to your PCC. If you don't have it on you, consider fabricating one. You never know when you'll need to recon an area. Uh, let's carry this on the back. Traveling a little bit light for this mission. That thing you're holding is a crystal collector. Now, as the name suggests, it provides secure storage for any crystals you gather. Uh, 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 allow me to describe your quarry. Chiral crystals appear gold to the naked eye and have frequently found in formations resembling human handprints. Surrounding rocks and debris tend to float a few feet above the ground. And they are most commonly found in areas with high precipitation. Got all that? Mm -hmm. Rain, floating rocks, golden handprints. That's your trifecta. Look for these three things and you'll find the crystals. If you've been especially observant, then perhaps you already know where to look. Yeah, I've seen a, a lot of those while I've been out there. Pleasant journey. Let me put a sign up here as well. Oh, 
Likers get liked. <laughs> That's my sign. So what I was going to say earlier before I got sidetracked was... This is a game for uh, people who, who uh, like me, are a fan of the journey. So, like, um, you know, there's a lot of to be said about, like, you know, I'm all about the destination, you know, and that's a very cliche statement as well. You know, it's all about the journey, man. You know, that's, that's the thing. But when you actually think about what that means, about that process of getting to something... Sam, Cairo crystals are pretty small and can be difficult to spot with the naked eye. I'd advise you to use your ultra deck to point you in the right direction. If you want to survey a wider area, though, you might consider building a watchtower and relying on it. Oh, my ladder is still there. <clears throat> That's great that my ladder is here. A bunch of us fools, their ladders just hanging out. Yeah, as someone who likes to edit uh, videos and, and create music and things like that, I really love um, being caught up in like the steps necessary to get to some sort of finale. You know, like I, I like while well, I'm in the middle of something, halfway through something being completed and whatnot, usually when I'm enjoying something the most. You gotta imagine as a developer, these guys are spending a lot of time working on these these projects and getting everything situated. Okay, retrieve at BT area collection Cairo crystals and this is to get the pr printer interface. Oh no. There's one right there. And I think that if you are someone who, who like, you know, plays things for the set piece moments, if you have played Kojima titles in the past for, you know, I just want to get to the next fight scene, the next cutscene, yeah. but didn't enjoy the moments in between, the small moments, the moments where you're sneaking around for 45 minutes, you know, hanging out for five minutes in a locker because you got caught by a bunch of guards. Then I don't know if this game will actually be, you know, for you at that point. I want my own ladder, actually, because that one's a little far away. There's nothing I can do with this ladder. It's so weird. Like, I can't... ...do anything, like, with the ladder. Unless I can crouch next to it and... I can dismantle it, but then it just kind of gets rid of it, right? Yeah, it just fades away. Kind of don't want to do that anymore. Still better to keep it around than not.
Yeah, so far that's kind of what the game means to me. This game kind of feels like a representation of like we took we took that part of games or that part of entertainment and creativity. We took the process itself and made that the focal point of the game. And you know, maybe later on there's going to be crazy huge insane cutscenes and all that kind of stuff but got company. I don't think we're gonna get a scene where we have like you know a character like Gray Fox backflipping off a wall and cutting a Metal Gear in half you know stuff like I just don't think this game will ever have a moment like that Didn't I have that container? Oh, did I not pick that container up? I probably didn't pick that container up, actually. Well, let's head right back to town, drop this off, and then I'll go to that camp and try to steal that thing for the printer. Gus had some more printers right over there. So. I don't know if I wonder if the rope would help me with water what do you guys think isn't the rope would actually help with the water if I had to cross a lot of it I know it's a climbing anchor but I wonder if I mean, it made it across. That must have helped. Sorry, Flox. I don't mean to make you sleepy-headed. Yeah, the game is very relaxed. It's, it's not, like, explosive. It's not in your face. I bet you could take, like, the ambient sound of Death Stranding and make, like, a... You know, a mixtape.
That bike is no good. Let's put a sign up. Not happy that that motorcycle can't be used. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. <laughs> Verifying ID. Sam. Cairo crystal deliveries are a little different from the usual. The process is pretty simple, though. Access the delivery terminal to drop off any Cairo crystals you're carrying. Yeah, let's see what I can do with these crystals. I guess I have to recycle the crystals. Can only recycle a hundred at a time, it looks like. So why recycle instead of deliver? Interesting. Crystals for us? These crystals only form in places with elevated Kyrillian levels. Which makes me wonder if expanding the network has something to do with it. <laughs> Damn, son. That is a lot of crystals. Maintenance and R&D will both get their fill, looks like. Okay, so it's good then to bring that much. Benjamin Hancock has provided design data for a container repair spray. Chiral symmetry, chirelium. Excess chiral crystals can be deposited at any facility. They'll be added to the stores held on site. These local stores include materials that you can draw upon to fabricate equipment as needed. Interesting. Good work, Sam. It seems your connection level is increasing. As your connection level increases, larger quantities of resources will be made available to you at our facilities. Oh. Connection level increase. Three stars. Use this data. Gain access to a level two or higher structure. And select customized structure. More structures cannot be built within the Cairo network area. Whoa! I got a lot of stuff for that. Oh. I am... Okay, so there is some kind of promotion here? People think of you as a porter who can be relied upon. True legend. I am now a handler. You have achieved delivery volume grade 10. You can now carry more cargo. Interesting. I didn't think the game would have, like, any kind of upgrade system. This is for you. What is it? Oh, I don't want more stuff. That's container repair spray for patching up cargo containers. Good for dealing with time fall degradation and all that. Useful stuff if you and your cargo have been through the ringer. We've added it to your supplies list, so it's readily available if and when you need it. Hmm. Okay. I'll take that with me then. There is 
a correlation between elevated corellium levels and increased crystal formation. This may well be the result of the network's expansion. You needn't worry, though. Local chiral density is still within an acceptable range. If you find any more, be sure to collect it. You'll be well rewarded. If you come into more chiral crystals, you can submit them at one of our facilities. And you can deposit other resources, too, along with any items you don't need. Everything has its value. What we don't use as is can be broken down into components for R&D and other applications. I like that this game has, like, a lot of built-in logic to its crafting system. Beginning scan. Have a pleasant journey. Still got work to do, Sam. Let's not keep people waiting. Like, we are trying to rebuild something that was destroyed. It makes sense to have things like breaking down crafting components and stuff of that nature. Alright, but now we have to go to the camp. Right, let's look at the map. Let's see the best way to kind of... I mean, that is a sh clear... Cliff, but it looks like there's like ladders and ropes. So I, I think if I head right for it, there should be some good stuff there to help out. Weapons restrictions lifted. Uh, I had a bag of flatano chips with the carbs and the lulling green is like a knockout. Oh, that's unfortunate. I bet you they tasted good though. Am I like Hitman? Do I have like the rope in my hand? There we go. Oh, someone's ladder. Look how clutch that ladder is. <laughs> yeah, I kind of want to start having some of those kinds of chips. I saw you have them, but I want to eat yours, but I definitely want some. This is such a fascinating game. Like, the, the social... Like, like I said, Dark Souls definitely started this with, you know, the warning system, seeing where people died at. But I honestly feel like this is the next evolution of it, because it's like a tangible thing that is... You know, when this whole game so far seems to be about the journey and, and, and hiking... Remember, Sam, before you approach the mule drop site, we recommend you use a watchtower to confirm the location of the post box containing our cargo. Like things like a, a ladder or a rope are just so useful, you know? Like it comes in such handy. What the hell is that? Deserted, so remaining undetected is key. Keep a low profile and move slowly to minimize noise.
Yeah, this is also a good shelter for the rain, so... That is bugged out, man. an enemy right there. Is he the only enemy around? I don't see another enemy down there. That's where I was. Man, an anchor would be very useful right now if I had a climbing anchor on me. But I have a ladder, so we'll try to see if. him. Let's see if we can take him out. Now, now we're playing a stealth mission. Can someone in the chat post a link to the Metal Gear Solid sneaking music?
second, everyone. One second. We're going to make this official. Like passed out, I guess. Back to sneaking. I'm telling you, man, Metal Gear Solid sneaking music goes with all sneaking in every video game ever created. Even if you play this while you're sneaking around your own like house, so you're trying to get some cookies at nighttime, your parents uh, don't want you having any. Put the song on, still works. Someone to clip all this and name it for Celtic Kennedy. Oh, we're almost there. I did it! Here we go! Oh, gee! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Okay, we made it, guys. We made it. Thank you, Flox, for the uh, assist on that. I don't know what that trash icon is. Oh. I did not see that guy there. That was <laughs> legit terrifying. I almost blew it. I almost, you see what happens? I turned off the sneaking music, immediately caught. Unlock the post box. Oh, I'm hacking. All right. Whoa.
Wait, I didn't deliver any of that. I'm so confused. Oh, I get it. This post box has the stuff that they stole from us. And I gotta take it. Got it. I get it now. Alright guys. You know, don't mind me. If I can make it to that post box over there, I'll be fine. Just, you know, one step at a time, and we'll be all right. Also, wait a minute. I, I think I have my own, right? Can they just build? Oh, like, right there. If I, if I just use... Oh, this, this is gonna end in disaster. Hold on. I could tell that if I don't manage this cargo. Looks like you've got an empty container there, huh? Feel free to submit junk like that to Bridges. You might not have a use for it, but we do. Okay. So, like this thing right here, I'm just gonna offload. Now I'll be able to come drop it off. This one's for you. to exchange cargo with other porters. I'm gonna donate. Oh, I kinda need boots though, man, because I don't have a lot. I'll donate these metals. And same with these metals as well. I will have to take this stuff. <sighs> and I'm still past the weight limit.
Those three things that I dropped were actually the things I could deliver here. Oh, here we go. Lost cargo. Bam, bam, bam. Bridge link has increased to level two. I am a skilled handler. Miscellaneous grade ten. You will now receive more likes. Oh, thank you. I'm okay with getting more likes. Let's grab these metals here. Let me rearrange. Okay, I bet you I can just... Unfortunately, the ladder I made is kind of impossible to reach. But I have another one. This should be able to help anybody out who decides like me to climb up top like a fool. Celtic tactical takedown. The Flox, what do you think about this game so far? From what you've seen? Now that we're a good five hours in, and I'd say about three hours of it was this right here. Ooh, I'm definitely gonna take that rope down, sir. This is treacherous. Keep myself from getting hurt too bad. Anybody hear me? I hear you. What the? Did you hear that? This thing actually resonated with what I said. I'm Sam. Hey, my name's Sam too. That's, dude. That's really weird. That's really bizarre. <laughs> That's really cool, though.
All we had to do was sit back and let them work. It was revolutionary. Damn near singularity. No reason for it not to take off. But it didn't. People didn't like it when we took the human element out of the service industry. So, after some consideration, we put it back in. Made jobs no one really needed and gave them the folks who couldn't live without them. And from there, it snowballed. Now we got cults of cargo chasing crazies who get off on hijacking shipments. Jackal's always on the lookout for the next border. Make sure you're not him. Verifying ID. Clear. All weapons will remain locked until departure. Cargo verified. Thank you. I wonder if you can have like illicit cargo or like cargo that's like outlawed or something. But it feels weird that they would have a scanner to have to verify if my my cargo is good. Unless there is something that you can grab that maybe was not so good. Decontaminating suit. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Uh, make delivery. <sighs> Time to get that chiral printer in working order. Sorry to push you through so much trouble, but trust me, it'll be worth it. doesn't have a scratch on it. Never doubted you'd come through for us. Sam, how are your shoes holding up? Not too well, I imagine. Conditions being what they are out there. Nothing ruins your day like shoes falling apart while you're on the job. Carry on like that, and it's only a matter of time before you injure yourself. I've arranged for boots to be added to your supplies. Bridges standard issue, so they ought to fit you fine. You should always carry an extra pair. But if you forget or run into trouble, you can fabricate another via a terminal at one of our many facilities. New interview data. Bridges HQ have added data for a new structure, a bridge. See you around. Congratulations, Sam. I understand you now have access to a chiral printer. An extraordinarily useful device that can only function because of the manner in which our network utilizes the beach, enabling us to transfer massive volumes of data instantaneously. Since under normal circumstances, such transfers would take hours, if not days, some have speculated that the chiral network might, in essence, be a time machine. That it is transmitting data into the past. Suffice it to say, we have yet to fully grasp the fundamental nature of the network and the beach which we have come to rely upon. One might liken our relationship with it to that of primitive man's with fire. Is it useful? Quite. Is it dangerous? Undeniably so. Nevertheless, we have decided that the reward outweighs the risk. Furthermore, as the BTs are linked to the beach, it stands to reason that further study and experimentation could be of considerable benefit. The same could be said regarding you, of course. <laughs> Rest assured, I will keep you apprised of what I learn. You have my word. What? So... New order available. Please that... access delivery terminal for further information. I want to know more about that beach. You know, that beach seems so mysterious.